Have you ever walked into a room and instantly felt the weight of everyone's emotions? Maybe you sense the unspoken tension in the air, or you can pick up on someone's sadness even when they're smiling. If this sounds familiar, you might be a Sigma empath, a rare and extraordinary type of empath with a unique ability to deeply understand and feel the emotions of those around you. Being a Sigma empath is a gift, a powerful connection to the emotional currents that flow through the world. You're the person who others turn to for comfort and understanding because you just get it. But with this incredible gift comes a heavy burden. You're not just aware of others' emotions. You absorb them, often without even realizing it. This heightened sensitivity can leave you feeling drained, overwhelmed and lost in the emotional chaos of others. But what if I told you that there's a secret, a powerful technique that can help you protect your energy and thrive as a Sigma empath? Imagine being able to navigate the world with your empathic abilities intact without feeling weighed down by the emotions of others. In today's video, I'm going to share that secret with you so you can harness your gift without losing yourself in the process. As a Sigma empath, you're not just attuned to the feelings of others, you're a beacon of comfort, a guiding light in the emotional darkness. But to continue shining brightly, you need to learn how to protect your own energy. The challenges you face are real, but with the right approach. You can transform this sensitivity from a source of vulnerability into a powerful tool for growth and connection. So stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll have the tools you need to protect your energy, embrace your empathic nature, and truly thrive as a Sigma Empath. Number 1. Understanding Sigma Empathy Imagine walking into a room full of people. As you step inside, you immediately sense the underlying emotions. Maybe someone is anxious, another is joyful, and someone else might be hiding their sadness behind a smile. You don't just see these emotions. You feel them as if they were your own. That's what it means to be a Sigma empath. You're not just a passive observer of the emotional world, you're deeply connected to it, in a way that most people can't even begin to understand. This ability to sense and understand the emotions of others is what makes Sigma Empaths so extraordinary. It's like you have an emotional radar that allows you to tune in to the frequencies of those around you. This can create deep, meaningful connections because people feel seen and understood by you, often without you even saying a word. Your presence alone can bring comfort to others, and that's a truly powerful gift. But here's the thing this gift comes with a cost. While your sensitivity allows you to connect deeply with others, it can also become overwhelming. You're like a sponge, absorbing the emotions and energy of everyone around you, and that can leave you feeling drained, anxious, or even lost in the emotional turmoil of others. It's the double-edged sword of being a Sigma empath. On one hand, you have this amazing ability to understand and support those around you, but on the other, you're constantly at risk of emotional burnout. That's why it's so important to protect your energy. You can't pour from an empty cup, and as a Sigma empath, you need to take care of yourself first. By learning how to manage and shield your energy, you can continue to use your gift without feeling overwhelmed. It's not about shutting off your empathy, it's about finding balance. When you protect your energy, you're not just helping yourself, you're ensuring that you can keep being that beacon of comfort and support for others without burning out in the process. Number two, the origins of your empathic abilities. Many Sigma empaths discover their gift early in life, often without even realizing it. Picture yourself as a young child, just beginning to navigate the world. You might remember moments when you were acutely aware of the emotions swirling around you, whether it was the tension between your parents, the sadness in a friend's eyes, or the unspoken worries in the air. For a Sigma empath, these weren't just observations, they were experiences deeply felt. As a child, this sensitivity likely developed as a survival mechanism. When you're young, your sense of safety and security depends heavily on those around you, your caregivers, your family, your environment. To feel safe, you might have unconsciously learned to move your energy up from the root, sacral and solar plexus chakra centers associated with grounding, creativity and personal power into the heart and upper chakras. This shift heightened your ability to sense the emotions of others, allowing you to navigate the emotional landscape of your home. By tuning in to these emotional cues, you could adjust your behavior to avoid conflict, gain approval, or simply keep the peace. 
But these early experiences were not always easy. Maybe there were times when you felt emotionally neglected or abandoned, when the people you relied on for love and support weren't fully present for you. These moments left deep marks on your heart, shaping how you would relate to the world as you grew. To cope, you might have developed habits of hypervigilance, constantly scanning the emotional atmosphere for signs of trouble and people-pleasing, always putting others' needs before your own, hoping to earn the validation you craved. These patterns of hypervigilance and people-pleasing were born from a need to survive in an emotionally uncertain environment. But as you've grown, they've likely stuck with you, influencing your relationships and how you interact with the world. While these coping mechanisms helped you get through difficult times, they can also drain your energy and keep you from fully embracing your own needs and desires. Understanding where these patterns come from is the first step toward healing and reclaiming your energy as a Sigma empath. Number three, the importance of energetic boundaries. Living as a Sigma empath can sometimes feel like you're walking through a storm of emotions. You might find yourself in crowded places or even in conversations where you start to feel the emotions of those around you as if they were your own. For instance, you might walk into a room and suddenly feel a wave of sadness, anxiety or joy, even though you came in with your own feelings. This can be disorienting, making it hard to distinguish between what's truly yours and what you've absorbed from others. Imagine being at a social event where everyone's emotions are running high. You might feel a mix of excitement, stress and sadness all blending together. And it becomes challenging to pinpoint which emotions are yours and which belong to the people around you. This constant absorption can leave you feeling drained and even confused about your own feelings. It's like being in a sea of emotions without a lifeboat. This is where energetic boundaries come into play. Just as a lifeboat keeps you afloat in rough seas, strong energetic boundaries help you stay grounded and maintain your own sense of self amidst the emotional turbulence. Creating these boundaries isn't about shutting yourself off from others. It's about protecting your well-being so you can engage with the world without being overwhelmed. One effective way to set these boundaries is through visualization. Picture a protective barrier surrounding your entire energy field, a shield of light or a gentle bubble that separates your emotions from those of others. Whenever you enter an emotionally charged environment, imagine this shield growing stronger, allowing you to maintain your individuality and stay centered. You don't have to consciously block out others instead. This barrier helps you stay connected without absorbing everything around you. By regularly practicing this visualization, You'll find it easier to maintain your emotional balance and prevent yourself from becoming overwhelmed. Remember, setting energetic boundaries is an essential part of self-care for Sigma empaths. It helps you preserve your energy and ensures that you can continue to use your gift in a healthy and sustainable way. Number four, the dynamic between Sigma empaths and narcissists have you ever found yourself in a relationship that feels more like an emotional roller coaster than a smooth ride? For many Sigma empaths, this roller coaster often involves interactions with narcissists. These relationships can be intense and draining, leaving you questioning why you're drawn to them in the first place. Here's the interesting part Sigma empaths, with their deep capacity for understanding and caring, often attract narcissists. Narcissists are individuals who thrive on attention and admiration, often using manipulation to meet their own needs. Your empathy and willingness to give can make you a prime target for them. They sense your openness and use it to their advantage, drawing on your energy while giving little back in return. Despite the challenges, there are valuable lessons to be learned from these interactions. Narcissists can teach Sigma empaths a lot about self-worth and boundaries, when you're constantly trying to meet someone else's needs at the expense of your own. You're not only depleting your energy, but also losing sight of your own value. These experiences can push you to recognize the importance of setting firm boundaries and taking care of yourself. Setting boundaries is crucial in these relationships. It means learning to say no without guilt and standing up for your own needs. Prioritizing self-care becomes essential. You have to ensure that you're not just giving but also replenishing your own energy. By practicing self-care and asserting your needs, you can protect your well-being and avoid being overwhelmed. While these interactions can be challenging, they offer a chance to build stronger, healthier boundaries. 
By understanding and applying these lessons, you can transform your interactions with narcissists from draining experiences into opportunities for personal growth. Remember, the key is to balance your empathy with self-care, ensuring that you remain a vibrant, connected individual without sacrificing your own needs. Number 5. Healing the Inner Child Imagine your inner child as a small, tender version of yourself, full of wonder and emotion. This inner child carries the echoes of your earliest experiences, both joyful and painful. For Sigma empaths, these early experiences deeply influence how they connect with others and manage their own energy. If you faced abandonment or emotional neglect as a child, you might find yourself overly sensitive to the feelings of others, often struggling to separate your own emotions from those around you. Unresolved wounds from childhood can leave Sigma empaths feeling exposed and overwhelmed by emotional currents. These experiences can cause you to take on too much of others' energy, leaving you drained and vulnerable. Recognizing this connection is the first step in healing and protecting your energy. Healing your inner child involves a few gentle yet powerful practices. One effective method is visualization. Find a quiet place, close your eyes, and imagine meeting your younger self. Offer them the love and comfort they may have missed. Tell them they are safe, valued, and loved. This simple act can help heal old wounds and reinforce your sense of self-worth. Meditation is another tool that can help. Sit quietly and focus on your breath. As you breathe deeply, picture a warm light surrounding you and your inner child. This light represents protection and healing, helping to cleanse and balance your energy. Connecting with universal archetypes like the Divine Mother and Father can also provide emotional support. Visualize these figures as sources of unconditional love and stability, filling the gaps left by your early experiences. Additionally, grounding techniques can be incredibly beneficial. Spend time in nature, walk barefoot on grass, or use visualization to imagine roots extending from your feet into the earth. These practices help stabilize your energy and connect you to a nurturing, grounding force. Regular energy cleansing rituals, such as using meditation or crystals, can further help in clearing any negative or stagnant energy you may have absorbed. By incorporating these practices into your routine, you can better manage your energy, protect yourself from emotional overwhelm, and move forward with a stronger, more balanced sense of self. Number 6. The Secret to Protecting Your Energy so, what's the secret to protecting your energy as a Sigma empath? It's not just one thing, but a blend of several essential practices that, when combined, create a powerful shield around your emotional well-being. The true key lies in understanding your energy dynamics, setting clear boundaries, and healing your inner child. Each of these elements works together to help you manage and protect your sensitive nature. By recognizing how your empathic abilities interact with your energy, you can begin to establish boundaries that prevent you from becoming overwhelmed. Setting these boundaries is like drawing a line in the sand that keeps negative or draining energies at bay. Healing your inner child adds another layer of protection, ensuring that old wounds don't continue to drain your energy. When you use visualization, grounding techniques, and meditation, you create a holistic approach that strengthens your defenses and keeps your energy intact. Now it's time for you to put these practices into action. Start by incorporating simple grounding exercises and visualization techniques into your daily routine. Connect with your inner child through meditation and allow yourself the space to heal old wounds. Setting clear boundaries with others will help you maintain your energy and avoid burnout. Being a Sigma empath is truly a remarkable gift. Your ability to deeply understand and connect with others' emotions is invaluable yet it demands careful management to prevent emotional exhaustion. By protecting your energy through the practices we've discussed, setting boundaries, healing your inner child, and employing grounding techniques, you can continue to offer your unique support to the world without sacrificing your own well-being. Remember, safeguarding your energy doesn't mean isolating yourself, it means creating a balance that allows you to thrive both personally and in your relationships. With these tools, you can turn your empathy into a source of strength and resilience, ensuring that your gift serves both you and those around you in a healthy, fulfilling way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these insights help you navigate your journey as a Sigma empath with greater ease and confidence.
If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tips and advice on living harmoniously with your empathic abilities. Your support means the world. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.